Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Two Against the Overlord campaign. It is episode number 40 and boy boy I have been busy with playing Jagged Alliance 3 so that's going to be a bit of an interesting transition from fighting in the jungle uh, towards fighting on the battlefield. We got ourselves Operation Shadow God on our hands, a very difficult mission with quite a bit uh, to raid as this is going to be a supply raid and we're going to bring Hogbite Inspector again gotta uh, dress us nicely in sweet sweet new gear we got the Icarus suit right here we bring Implacable and XQS6 uh, the dream team in the midfield and Redline uh, will replace our uh, Colonel Zapper um, who I think is better just uh, watching the barracks because we need more colonels so we want people that can actually gain XP. Trojan takes the front line and I gave uh, her uh, the Viper suit in a little bit of a violet outfit so ultraviolet uh, at uh, the front line. So let's take a dig big fat breather as we are going to go into the actual mission. Loss have been spotted so that can only mean trouble. Good so that's one of uh, those loss versus advent versus everything kind of maps. Let's see if it is an insta loss again. I had it in the Royal Rumble campaign where I immediately lost but no this time we at least do have crates. And we're starting in the middle of an LA. Well, it's not too bad. Getting a bit closer. Seeing an Archon and his friends there. This should still be safe. Moving up to close and personal distance. Hogbite on the other side moves to there and those uh, guys will be spotted very very soon. Uh, in terms of just general overwatch and good position Our Marine has good enough uh, chances to hit, so let's put him there. Grenades to the semi front line. Implacable over here, and Spectre will be moving all the way up here, blocking the staircase and also embracing their weapon look at that more losts are incoming and these guys should trigger uh, with a loss an archon prime is not to be underestimated go for the prime and show him who's boss I like it enemies did not even start to care here all right time for some solid hits I still hit we can breach maneuver a bit closer which is not bad these guys are out of range. Uh, we can only see them with the extended vision here. Uh, that's an Archon Prime, isn't it? Yeah. I guess I wanted to be sure. And now I am.
Good. Shred him. He just goes on to Overwatch. Interesting choice. I tell you what, uh, we are going to counter that by big fat hit. Uh, we did not have. No. Nope. Just straight up weapon specialist crit. They've seen me. There's heavy fire in this zone. All right, he missed us, and now it's time to kill him. The hit will trigger, and that uh, will trigger blade storm, and that will kill him. Hit triggers. Superiority triggers Blade Storm and a kill. Good job, Hawkbite. Um Could still get it next turn. I'm just thinking. On a move. Moves closer. We're good. Careful of watching. And we're just parrying. Come on. Almost got the guy. I am the focus of the attacks. So called peacekeepers. Well, we got another pack going for us. That's the great thing about XCOM, it never gets dull. Good, this here will reset us. So hit and kill and to reset, we theoretically do have a teamwork left over, if that would be needed. In the meantime, we might trigger another pack. No, we're triggering the Losts. In all of their glory. Good, let us first of all mark the supply crate. Secondly, we do have a couple of free actions here. That is 119% crit, so an uber crit. I like it. Uh, in the meantime, let's just frostbite that Gatling uh, gun sergeant. 96% missed. All right, that can happen. Got some breaching maneuver, which I am gladly going to take. Fifty percent chance to kill him. Hawkbite is the man. There is no question about it.
Move up. Set up the Mamba. That's a nice crit, by the way. Alright, Hogbite takes the sergeant, hits him well, we can very much dodge here, uh, parry rather. Good. And our... Bladestorm will kill that guy. In the meantime... Nice little weapon specialist headshot. Into free reload. There is another pack around the explosive there, elsewise we wouldn't have the chance to explode it. There is definitely another pack there. All right, we're overwatching. Don't need to mark the crate now. Now we don't want to mark the supply crate. We're good. Edwin gets one, but that's okay. We want... It's alright. Don't uh, wet your panties. So good. Good. We very much have the loss under control at the moment. Okay, we need to push uh, further forward. There is another crate here. There is one up there and there. So there are a couple of crates. Grappling for a slightly better position. Good to go. Reload and kill the brute. Got a free hair trigger, which is fine. We don't need to use it immediately. Um, hmm. I think we're slowly going to move up. I leave this one on uh, tap for now. Killing this guy. We might be able to freely reload. That's okay. Moving further up. And whilst we're doing it, repositioning our sniper. Brace, and we do have a free battle scanner. Might as well take a look what we're dealing with. Good, there is another pack. Looks like a gatekeeper. Plus some sort of a psionic hunter, maybe a witch hunter, and something, something else. Hoppa, to be honest, is just staying here. So is Trojan. 
and we're ending the turn. Okay, this pack looks dangerous. And that might even be a Rift Keeper. I don't know, have we installed Rift Keepers? It has a lot of armor. 3, 7 armor, 30, 40 hit points. Oh, Raptor Squads. I see how it is. And there is a big fat loss swarm. Dang it. normal gatekeeper luckily however gatekeepers and loss are a dangerous combination I'm not sure if I told you the story of me realizing that every lost is a corpse and therefore can be reanimated into an actual zombie and I think it was in the OMFG run that I did where a gatekeeper all of a sudden reanimated like 30 zombies mind you they actually hit hard and have way more hit points afterwards so, yeah, that was the opposite of uh, a good outcome. Where's the lures? Okay, we do have them here. Fabulous. So, four starters. You guys are going to be marked. And you have to deal with the loss going forward. Very good. And whilst we're at the subject, how about how about we're just moving up, locking the ladder. Look, um, we're just moving up to here and we're starting to clear a lot of this. One, two, We're run and gunning, then reloading so that we can continue uh, to shoot. Three. We're going to take too many of them away. Just the ones that are close to us. That's a bomb, uh, boomer, so he will spawn more of them. But it doesn't matter for us. I'm so used to play with the no headshot mod that this here feels almost like cheating to be able to kill all of them. I know it isn't, but it just feels like it.
We could start softening this guy up. Hmm. Questions do we want to do that? Or are we rather focusing on the Raptor Commando? Let's try to get that Raptor Commando down. Nice little sustenance. Overwatch here. And we're moving up. It needs to move in closer, but I don't want to pull another pack. So we have a full focus. I could attack and then run back, but there is likely another pack right there. Nah, mm. not worth it. I could amplify, but that would cost us focus. So instead we're doing something that I haven't done in a while. Hawkbutt is just standing there, making it very difficult for anyone to hit him. End of turn. You need to know kind of the position of the game and where the enemy packs can be located. And I could almost promise you, my game sense tells me there is another pack back there. Ah, that would have been an important hit, unfortunately. It was a miss. Little witch hunter here. Thanks to the lure, everybody will focus on these two. And we can freely focus and deal with uh, the gatekeeper. Ultrasonic Lure, more like imbalanced good item. Can highly recommend you guys give it a try on missions with a loss. It is very, very good. Moves to here. We're using high ground make it a hundred percent hit I don't want to be in a situation where we maybe are missing there is no such thing as a maybe Deflection. very nice hit and whilst we're at it no, no no that's the wrong teamwork this here is the correct teamwork Keep on going, baby. Um, I think that's a solid kill. Just free reload, uh, take him up and knock him down. Well, thank you. Uh, he killed our crate. Not a very nice thing to do.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, well, ah, it destroys another crate. No, no, no. We already lost one due to unfortunate circumstances. Let's soften this guy up. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> the Inquisitor has a bad day. Now is a good time for Hawkeye to go in. And I think... We can just move over here. Hoplite's uh, blade storm is going to deliver sufficient pain to all of uh, the Elos. And we likely will be able to push in further. One down, two down, three down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not the most difficult mission, and we got, I think, 10 out of 12 crates. So, yeah, that actually worked very well. The lure. Turned out to be, as always, very powerful. Good, lots, lots of good loot. Superior focus, not so much, but superior repeater, for instance, is great. And let's see, complete the Advent Black Side mission and construct the Shadow Chamber. That's fine. We're also wanting to improve this bond to level 3. Great. And I think Tapcat needs to play the Advent Facility mission soon-ish. So we got our supplies here. Let's take them. Intel is okay as well. I mean, we're we're solid. We just need to progress the storyline a little bit more. Chosen uh, Stronghold is soon going to come. Let me just double check. Uh, we killed the Warlock. The other two are still there. So, yeah, we're definitely going to do that next. Working towards getting the other Chosens down. Good. Out of uh, the options here, we got Intel or Alien Alloys. Uh, Intel might be okay, but we wanted, I think, to make contact here. That would give us a next facility and greater resolve is okay. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. And then we wanted to make contact up here. Need to build a tower anyways, so that's what we're going to do. Let's... Mm, use the Reaper HQ for a bit more intel, then we can make contact. Going to take low, uh, we're going to go low on intel again. That will prompt VIP rescue missions predominantly, but that's okay. So I would like to, oh, we don't have enough capacity. Um,
location or staffing a facility. Yeah, that's fine. I like it. We could go for another resistance communication. I think we indirectly agreed we didn't want to do psionics ourselves, so the last one could really be another resistance comms. Resistance communications facility construction initiated. Not very creative, but we have everything else, and with the shadow chamber soon coming up, we're okay. We can make contact here. We have a steady trace on the chosen assassin. That gives us greater resolve. And we have enough to install another radio relay there and expand further. Do we even need further? So we have two more to get, uh, go, three more, four more. Yeah, we need more contacts. I still out of sea, got the proximity mine right there. Yeah, GTS tactics really not, not worth it. Let's get more intel. And there is definitely a retaliation mission. Well, listen, I need to call uh, Tapcat for that one. He gets finally gets a decent mission. The last one was easy peasy for him. That's GTS, double check, skirmisher and reaper. I think the reaper infiltration is worth it. Skirmisher, yeah, we only have one skirmisher, so really not worth it. Anything else that we can upgrade? Uh, we could... Upgrade the fusion blade. Um, I mean, we have the axe, we're getting the katana. Feels like that is a bit wasted. Advanced arc thrower, however, could uh, be decent. Uh, we're using it regularly, so might as well. This here would be good for the skirmisher we now do have one skirmisher mind you i'm still not really sold on that arc blade upgrade uh, on that uh, fusion blade upgrade it's potentially not worth it the battle scanner could be helpful. Proximity mine isn't bad either. And sustenance spheres are actually decent as well, just for survivability. But they cost an Alarium core now. I think though, um, we had a mod installed that lets us reuse them, which is the reason why it now also costs an Alarium core. Uh, might be completely wrong. It has been a while. We have plenty of cores. But I would rather go for another experimental powered weapon. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, spent all of the money uh, already, but we got some good upgrades going. I will leave uh, the terror mission with uh, Tapcat and then we're going to see if we want to progress the storyline. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you appreciate uh, the run so far, it's an exciting one, I like it and see you in the next episode, bye bye.